Hello and welcome. When I first saw the system of equations on the board, my first instinct was to make x the subject of equation 2, substitute into equation 1, and then solve the resulting equation for values of y. That is this x y squared is equal to 2 minus y cubed. x is equal to 2 minus y cubed divided by y squared. And of course, this is equal to 2 over y squared minus y. Substituting into equation 1, you have that 2 over y squared minus y cubed plus 9 into 2 over y squared minus y squared y is equal to 10. When I got to this point, I seriously doubted my ability to solve this equation because not only did I have to expand this, I had to expand this, I had to collect the like terms and then I had to solve the resulting polynomial equation. But then I looked at the system of equations again critically and I found something out. Look at this equation. If we add equation 1 to equation 2, what we are going to get is x cubed plus 9x squared y plus xy squared plus y cubed is equal to 12. If you look at this expansion, you will notice that powers of x are decreasing because we have x raised to power 3 here x raised to power 2, x raised to power 1, and x raised to power 0. And in the same way, powers of y are increasing because we have y raised to power 0 here, y raised to power 1 here, y raised to power 2 here, and y raised to power 3. So you will see that this forms an expansion for something like x plus y raised to power 3. Now this is where you look at the second term and you see that this can be written as 3 x squared into 3y. So let us look at the expansion of x plus 3y cubed. So of course we have that this is x cubed plus x squared 3y. I am omitting the coefficients for now we'll add the coefficients later plus x times 3y squared plus 3y cubed now from the pascal's triangle we have that this is one this is one one this is one here one plus one is two we have one this is one one plus two is three two plus one is three we have one this is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1. And so on and so forth. Of course, this gives us the coefficients for the expansion of x plus y raised to power 0. Because you know that anything raised to power 0 is 1. The second one gives us the coefficients of x plus y raised to power 1. Because you can see that the coefficient of this is 1 and the coefficient of this is 1. That is 1, 1. Now, this one gives us x plus y raised to power 2. And of course, this one is what we need because this is what gives us the coefficients of the expansion of x plus y raised to power 3. So we add the coefficients. We have 1 here, of course. We have 3 here. We have 3 here. Having done this, we simplify this. So we have x cubed plus 3 times 3 is 9x squared y plus we have 3 squared is 9 multiplied by 3 that is 27xy squared plus 3y cubed gives you 27y cubed so this is the expansion of x plus 3y cubed. Now look at this, what we have here, and look at this. You will see that we have x cubed here, 
we have 9x squared y here. Then from these two, we have 27xy and we have 27y cubed. So that means if we multiply the second equation by 27 and then add the two equations together, what we are going to have is the expression for the expansion of x plus 3y cubed. This is what I mean. If I have x cubed plus 9x squared y is equal to 10. And then I multiply the second equation by 27. So what will I have? 27y cubed plus 27xy squared is equal to 54. If I add these two equations, what I will get is... If I add these two equations, what I will get is x cubed plus 9x squared y plus 27xy squared plus 27y cubed is equal to 64. So this is what I have. Now, remember that this can be compressed as this is equal to what 64 so we simply have that x plus 3y is equal to cube root of 64 which is equal to 4 because we know that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so from this we simply have that x plus 3y is equal to 4. We have an equation that we can now substitute into any of the equations to get something that we can solve for y or for x. So what I will do is x plus 3y is equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4 minus 3y. I will substitute this expression for x in the second equation. So I'll have that y cubed plus 4 minus 3y, which is now x times y squared is equal to 2. Expanding, I have that y cubed plus 4y squared minus 3y cubed is equal to 2. Collecting like terms, I have that minus 2 y cubed plus 4y squared minus 2 is equal to 0. That is taking the 2 over the equality sign. Now dividing through by minus 2, I have that y cubed minus 2y squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Now compare this equation with the first equation that we got. This is much more simpler. So we have this equation. I can solve this equation for values of y. And then when I get values of y, I will now substitute into this equation and get values of x. And that will be a wrap for the problem. Let us see if 1 is a solution to this equation. So we have that 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared plus 1. We have 1 minus 2 plus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. So that tells us that 1 is a solution of this equation. And remember, when 1 is a solution of this equation, from our factor theorem, we have that y minus 1 is a factor of this expression. So to get the other factor, the quadratic factor that we can also solve to get the two remaining solutions, what we do is to divide this expression by y minus 1. So we use the synthetic division method. What we do is to draw that long L. Here the coefficient of y cubed is 1. Coefficient of y squared is minus 2. There is no term in y raised to power 1. So what we do is add 0 and the constant term is 1. We are dividing with 1. We bring down this 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1. 
1 times minus 1 is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have that the other factor of this expression is y squared minus y minus 1. So we have y squared minus y minus 1. So now you note that instead of y cubed minus 2y squared plus 1 is equal to 0, I now have two factors, this and that. So the next step is to solve this equation. This cannot be factorized, so we use the quadratic formula. So we have that y12 is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we have minus b is minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4a is 1 and c is minus 1 divided by 2a, a is 1. So we have minus minus 1 is 1 plus or minus. We have minus 1 squared is 1 and here we have minus minus is plus. So we have 1 plus 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2a. And of course, a is equal to 1, yes. So we have that the two values of y from this equation are 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So you can see that we have gotten x is equal to 4 minus 3y. So that you can see that we have gotten two values or rather three values. We have 1 plus with 5 over 2 and 1 minus with 5 over 2 and 1. So the values of y are 1. 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 minus root 5 over 2. So having found three values for y, the next step is to find values for x. Now we know that x is equal to 4 minus 3y. So when y is equal to 1, x is equal to 4 minus 3 times 1. And this is equal to 1. Likewise, x is equal to 4 minus 3 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Now we have 4 over 1 minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 2. I opened the bracket. We have the LCM as 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2 multiplied by 4. It's minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 multiplied by this 3 plus or minus 3 root 5. Simplifying this we have 8 minus 3 is 5 plus or minus 3 root 5 divided by 2. So we have that when y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 x is equal to 5 plus 3 root 5 over 2. And when y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2, x is equal to 5 minus 3 root 5 over 2. So now we found three values for y and we found three resultant values. Or x and with that we've solved this system of equation it's been a rather long one and i hope you found it enjoyable and you learned something remember to subscribe like and share see you in the next one